Uh, good evening, guys. Welcome, Life Apollos. Happy to have you here as always. Uh, man, we're back to more negative news in the automotive community, and it just absolutely sucks to talk about. That being said, uh, although we do have some negative news to talk about, we also have some really fantastically positive news to discuss as well. And we are going to start the episode off by talking about some of that to kind of cushion the blow of the serious stuff we have to discuss. And as always, guys, if you appreciate the grind of episodes just about every day, make sure to sub to the channel and like the video. It helps me out tremendously and lets me do more investigative stuff like we're doing today. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, Beard Nation, welcome to your news of the day. All right, first up today, guys, uh, sort of keeping with our promise to start with some positive or at least interesting automotive and supercar community news. Uh, let's talk about the brand new Lamborghini Huracan Technica that just leaked earlier today. Two separate sort of leaker uh, automotive accounts both confirmed this was gonna be the brand new Huracan added to the lineup between the Huracan STO and the Huracan Evo, sort of slotted right in between. The picture you're looking at right now, guys, you can see exactly what it looks like. Got a bit of a wing on the back, sort of a baby wing, and the front of it looks like it's been semi-inspired by the Lamborghini Sian. Now, as far as we know, guys, the actual unveil uh, and sort of uh, more engine specifications, all that kind of jazz is gonna come out tomorrow, April 12th. So make sure to sort of keep your calendars bookmarked for that. Uh, what's weird is when I initially saw it, I was like, man, like I feel like, you know, the front looks interesting. I like the Lamborghini Sian's front look, but I don't know, the entire thing just feels a little bit underwhelming. Maybe they've squeezed some uh, extra crazy amount of power out of the sort of legendary V10 that's in the Huracan right now. But let me know what you guys think about this. Reactions are definitely mixed across the board. Some people absolutely love it. Some people are just like, give us a new platform already. Last question I want to make sure I ask you guys about this. Of the three sort of newer Huracan models, uh, the Evo, now the Technica, and then we're talking, of course, about the STO, which one would you rather have? Do you want something that can just kind of cruise around like the Evo, or do you want the full track focus with the STO or something in between? Put it in the comments below, and on to our next story. And speaking of Lamborghinis, guys, uh, Stradman, brand new video from him. Wow, unexpected dream house updates. We're not gonna talk about the dream house updates. Uh, we've been doing that for years now at this point. We are gonna talk about a comment that he made about potentially bringing a third Aventador to the channel. Uh, as you guys know, he's got uh, more than one Aventador right now and apparently a possible third one coming very, very soon. What do you guys think about that? Would you rather see him buy another car? Uh, what's super interesting is, is that apparently there were a number of different Ferraris that he only almost bought over the last like 60 days or so, but uh, apparently could not come to a, a price agreement with the people he was talking to. There's like a 20 or $30,000 difference. I believe it was an 812 in Largo that he was looking at buying, but maybe a third Aventador is in the cards. What do you guys think? And are you liking all of the house updates more so than even the car stuff on his channel right now? Put it in the comments below and on to our next story. Oh, last story before our main one, guys. Uh, Doug DeMuro, I already crashed my new Toyota Land Cruiser. Uh, apparently hit a deer. Kind of a crazy thing. Uh, if you live in the Midwest, like I did for so many years, uh, it's happened to everybody at least once out there, it seems. They're always out there. He spent about 15 minutes talking about like this entire incident, which I think is actually pretty impressive. Go over there, uh, check it out. Uh, very interesting video, very different video. I don't think he's ever done like a, I crashed my car into something or an animal in this particular case ever. So go check it out. There you go, Doug DeMiro talking about his new crash land cruiser. All right, next up guys, uh, definitely one of the harder, uh, rougher stories we have ever covered on our channel. Uh, I was not even sure that I was going to do a secondary story about the Haley Deegan stalker situation, uh, but after her newest update today, uh, I think it makes sense for a couple of reasons. The biggest reason is uh, we've been covering automotive and supercar community news for years now, over a thousand videos deep. I feel like we we know a lot about what's going on uh, sort of in front and behind the scenes when it comes to different creators. And I'll tell you this right now, guys, female creators in the automotive community put up with stuff that would just be unfathomable to most people's uh, sense of what's going on. 
We're of course talking about stalkers and creepers and people that are professing their love for different craters on a daily basis. And uh, of course, we're just talking about automotive craters today, but this uh, creepiness, this stalkerish behavior, it definitely extends to genres uh, across pretty much everything. It's not just the automotive community. All right, so getting back to Haley Deegan for a second, guys. Um, she put up an update earlier today that basically discussed in short form that ever since her big video went live talking about the situation with her uh, and Chase, that things have gotten significantly worse. Watch this clip. So before we get into today's video, I want to touch on the last video a little bit and just honestly say thank you for like the overwhelming love and support. Obviously, I'm not going to go into grave detail of a lot of the stuff going on because it's still being dealt with and it has gotten worse since that video. Taking every precautionary measure to be safe. Obviously, uh, the fact that the situation has gotten worse is awful for, uh, for Haley and Chase. And I think it's just uh, one of the more disturbing things that I've ever been exposed to in the automotive community. Um, in their original video, they talked about this individual that was stalking her uh, and also making threats against Chase. And uh, they blurred out his name and they masked his voice recordings that were apparently sent to both of them. Uh, and then uh, one of you guys actually sent me this individual's TikTok and Instagram account. So we're also gonna blur everything out here, guys, but uh, I wanted you to see how many videos this person has made. There are hundreds upon hundreds of videos. All of them, literally all of them, are basically addressed to Haley Deegan and are variations of him sort of pouring out his emotions uh, and love for Haley Deegan on TikTok and Instagram. Now, the reason why we sort of showed you guys sort of a window into what was happening was to give you an idea of the severity level that Haley Deegan is dealing with uh, with this individual. Um, I would hope that uh, obviously, the cops are involved to a certain degree uh, from what we from what we could tell from her video, like they're protecting her house, which I think is fantastic. Um, but what do you do about someone that is displaying this sort of behavior uh, against a creator and has made like these these really significant threats? I would have to imagine there's got to be something chargeable for the police to act on at this point. I showed this to a couple close friends of mine, and uh, they all had the same reaction. All of them were sort of like chilled uh, by the infatuation and sort of chaotic level of, of interest this particular person has with Haley Deegan. Um, it's horribly unfortunate. I hope the police can do something about it. Um, I wanted to do this video because uh, this is what female creators deal with on a daily basis. And obviously, you know, the fame is great. Fame and money are fantastic, but no one on the planet should have to deal with this level of insanity uh, anywhere because it's just truly terrifying to witness. Anyway, I realize this is definitely a darker story to cover, guys, but every once in a while, I think it's important to talk about the really serious issues affecting creators that we care about, creators that we enjoy on a daily basis. Just an absolutely horrifying situation, and hopefully the police can do something uh, so this ends in a relatively peaceful way. Next up, guys, I want to cover uh, two other fun stories to not leave you on such a rough note concerning that other story. I'll talk about Kid in a Sweet Shop, guys. Brand new video out, driving the Koenigsegg CCX our edition on the road and the track. Uh, as you guys know, Kid in the Sweet Shop, one of my favorite new channels. We've been talking about it, slinging the praise everywhere possible. Uh, fantastic quality, extraordinary cinematography, and always incredible cars. Today we're talking about Koenigseggs. The other day we're talking about like seven McLaren F1s all in the same room. Uh, something that might not ever get repeated again. Go check out the video, guys. Fantastic stuff. Add Kid in the Sweet Shop to your subscription list. You will be so happy that you did. And finally today, guys, uh, kind of a different story for you, actually just sort of getting the word out about another female creator in the automotive community, Amelia Hartford. So over the last couple of weeks, she's actually been looking to hire for her team. She's been looking to hire a very particular set of skills. Uh, right now, they're looking for a mechanic who has experience building custom performance vehicles the way we do. Must be in SoCal full time, race experience preferred, someone thorough and knows basic fab and customization. There's a thousand dollar referral too, so even if you're not that person, but you can get someone uh, in that particular realm to work with Amelia Hartford, there's some cash in it for you. Uh, these sort of situations don't come up all that often. It's not like YouTube teams normally 
normally are that large. Uh, but if you know somebody that can be a good fit for Amelia Hartford's channel, make sure to go out and do so and get the word out there any way you can. Good luck to Amelia Hartford in finding a brand new team member. And folks, that's all I've got for you guys today. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in again today. I feel like it's always rough to talk about these really serious situations, uh, but I appreciate you guys popping in here. Uh, welcome to all of our new subscribers we've gotten over the last couple of days. There have been a lot of you, and we're happy to have you here. I promise that not every day is as rough and as serious as today, uh, but when we do cover it, we try to do our absolute best and sort of keep it to a standard that's appropriate and sort of good for the automotive community. Anyway, hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and start to your week, and uh, make sure to drop me a line on Instagram if you have news tips, guys. Best possible place to reach me. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, make sure to stay safe, sane, and healthy. Ignore the haters because they are plentiful and hilarious and totally not worth your time. That's all I got. Take care. Bye.